Okay, well, if you want to know what it is that makes the um, 200 days outside thing the most interesting, it's that here we are in a blizzard, not quite lost. We're walking by shelter because we can't stop at it. Or we could stop in there, but we can't exactly rest and relax in there. So, we get to go back to the ice huts. If we can find them. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back in the long dark. And you may have noticed... We are no longer in Coastal Highway. We are actually back at Mystery Lake. Now, the reason for this is I recorded the last episode of us traversing, well, basically from Coastal Highway to here at Mystery Lake to come home. And I'm going to now show you every single exciting thing that happened on that walk. And there you go. That's it. That's the only thing that happened. The only other excitement we got was when we got back here and... We actually had almost no food. I had a couple of granola bars, and we ended up basically going to the camp office, hacking up a table, did a little bit of fishing, we did a little bit of cooking, and now we've got actually probably too much water on us. And we can drop a liter of it at least. There we go, drop a liter. I'm gonna so, yeah. have to leave something behind. Yeah, Dave, we're gonna sort all that out in a minute. We did do a little bit of organization, but we are still quite heavy, and I'm thinking. I picked up a thing of lamp oil at some point on that walk. I believe it was in the ravine. So that can get dropped. Oh, that's got us down to 38 kilos, which is really nice. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Now, this is not the best day for hunting, but we do actually need to do some hunting. Because I got to get some meat in me here. Or at least some meat over here that I can cook. And we're definitely going to need some wood. Now, do I want to go that way and try and find a wolf? Because I'm pretty sure going that way I can find a goddamn wolf. Or do we want to go that way and maybe find a bear? I suppose there's a third alternative. We can go that way and see if there's a moose available. But, I i mean, I want to kill a moose at some point because our moose bag is actually at 86%. So, yeah. How's our other stuff actually doing? Oh, oh, hat. Hold up. Hold on. Hat is beat up. Come on in. Let's fix hat. Is there anything else on me that's in desperate need of repair? Yes, repair my hat, please. The hat actually gives really good heat. There we go. Okay, hat's fixed. Whoops, I actually meant to look at the rest of my stuff. Alright, you're at 90s, fine. 99, 95. You're in the 90s. Alright, so there's a couple of things that are going to need repairing fairly soon. Oop, you're actually... 87 and you're at 88 all right we're going to repair this we're going to repair our snow pants then we're going to go hunting i promise okay there we go now real quick is any of this stuff wet the moose bag is wet everything else is fine okay it stopped snowing weather's clearing up nice all right you know what the best bet of food is this way because there should be deer and if not deer we can at least find some wolves or something on four legs that we can kill and eat You know, the thought occurs that before I can cook anything, I'm going to need wood anyway. And there's a huge tree limb over here. I might as well just hack this up first. Hopefully it won't take too long. Pretty sure I can chop this one up. You don't mind, do you, dude? I know you don't look like you're using it much. Yeah, that's a big one. It's only going to take me an hour. Yeah, that should be more than enough um, wood to cook anything we kill. I'm going to grab a couple more crow feathers. I've got like 88, and I need 90 to make 30 arrows, so that'll take care of that. Now, deer, wolves, anyone? Did I actually search this guy? I must have done. There's no way I haven't searched this dude. Yeah, yeah, I've searched you. Okay, I thought as much. Okay, that sounds like they're over by the boxcar. Not my favorite place to hunt wolves. I'd actually rather get the lone wolf that hangs out over here. Or any of the deer that usually live here. Hello, dear. All right, let's see if we can see the lone wolf. Oh, hello. Where were you? I heard a bark. 
Okay, I don't know where he is. I heard the bark over this way. Okay, it's right in front of me. There he is. Gotcha. Come on, you sneaky little git. I need you dead. Oh, hey, we got Revolver 5. Unfortunately, he didn't actually drop. All right, this might take longer than I thought. I need to drop something. Yeah, you need to drop your bad attitude, Dave. We need food, goddammit. And food just went that way. So let's go follow it. Oh, hang on. Dead deer. Tell me the wolf just killed the deer and was in the process of eating him when I walked up on him. And therefore, there's a lot of meat left on this deer. I mean, it's been here long enough for crow feathers. Deer? Yes. Nothing to harvest. God damn you, wolf. You ate my dinner. All right, are you the dead one? That looks like a lot of wolves, actually. I can't tell what's wolves and what's rocks over here. I'm thinking that's the wounded one. And there's two more right there. Well, let's have a go. I only need to kill one of them. Yeah, you wanna go first? I'm fine with it. That's more like it. I'm guessing everybody else took off. All I can hear is barks and yips everywhere. You wanna run up this way? No, you wanna run up the friggin' hill. Where I can't chase you. Alright, fine, go that way. Let the other one go. Better not be him way down there in that field. Well, this isn't the safest thing I've ever done, but you know what? Yes. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you again. I shot you once, didn't I? You've got to be the same one I already shot. You are. Just drop already. Are you still bleeding? Oh, for God's sakes. Where are you? Okay, are you the one I shot previously? I don't think I hit him once in that. Nope, I don't think I did. You know what? I should probably reload real quick. As hunting trips go, this is not my most efficient. I don't mind telling you. Alright, Dave, we're gonna keep the revolver out and just very carefully pick up shell casings. Now, one of them went that way, one of them went that way, somebody went this way. He's di- Oh, hello. Oh, there you are. Jesus Christ, you guys really need to... Okay. It sounds like I'm getting attacked by another one at the same time. Am I getting double attacked? Okay, gun out. He's dead. Now, where was the other one that barked? Was that over here? I can't believe I shot that thing twice and still got hit in the face. Alright, anybody else? Anybody else want to have a chat? I mean, I can try and follow you as... Oh. I don't have to try and follow you. You're over here somewhere. Come on. I don't think you can run anywhere over there, can you? I suppose we're in the neighborhood. We could look for the secret cache. Um, if you did not know this... Hello. Hold on, I'll explain it in a second. Let me get attacked here real quick. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Okay, reload again. I hate to think how many bullets this little trip has cost me. Anyway, yes. There are, on all modes but interloper... A hidden cache, which is a like a survivor bunker thing, on Mystery Lake and in Pleasant Valley. And it's going to be in one of five locations. I know where all the locations are. And that's one of them up top this hill. I don't know, maybe we'll do that next episode. We can try and find the hidden cache. 
It's always a fun trip, and it gives you an excuse to walk around the map, which is always nice. Okay, that shadow just gave me a flippin' heart attack. Don't do that. All right, three bars of stink, so if there are any wolves around, they're gonna be fully aware of my presence here pretty soon. Don't hear anybody else barking. We'll just have to listen out for the swoosh. Too heavy. You're fine, Dave. Trust me. Do you think lugging this around sucks? Wait till you run into some wolves. Because you now stink to high heaven. And you need a drink. There we go. All right, well, not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. You don't have to, Dave. You only got to carry it to that ice hut. And I tell you what, if you can get back to that ice hut, Dave, your food issue is sorted. Oh, hello. I thought you were dead already. Now well, you're dead now. Oh, you know what? Don't holster that gun. How much weight am I carrying right this second? Oops, nope, that's what I want. 50 kilos. I can walk with up to 60, so you know what? Oh, you're just a little tiny fella anyway. Hardly anything to you. The extra weight's worth it. Screw it. Okay, that wasn't so bad. The only wolf I've seen since is that one way over there. And I don't think he's going to twig me quick enough. So let's just real quick take a look in the backpack. See how much wolf meat we got. One, two, three, four, five, seven. I'm going to cook six up. Let's just drop everything else. Whoops. I actually meant to keep one of those. I don't know how much time this is going to take, because I've only got the one cooking pot on the pot-bellied stove, but I should have time enough to do this at least. Alright, well, as it turned out, it took the whole rest of the day, but guess what? Now we got a goddamn blizzard outside. Alright, well, we're not getting cold, so basically we just got to find something to do. Let's have some breakfast. That should be the little bit left over from yesterday. Shove another kilo of it down our neck. Alright, well, most of a kilo. We'll have a quick drink. And I guess we're going to take a look at our tools and stuff and see what kind of shape they're in. Uh, 92, 66. We really do need to find a repair kit and just repair that, so I feel a little bit better about it. But yeah, everything else is pretty good. I suppose we could clean the pistol a couple times. Okay, well that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to, and it's still storming, so let's take a look at maybe doing some repairs. I mean, that's always good to kill a little bit of time. Okay, well we're starting to get cold. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to head for the camp office, and we're just going to go stand inside where it's warm, and I'll do some more clothing repair until the friggin' blizzard stops. All right, Dave, go ahead. You're about due to start bitching about the cold. There you are, right on schedule. Don't worry, dude. We're about to go in. It's all good. Okay, well, it's going to screw up my uh, outside versus inside time ratio. Oh, you know what we could do? Hold up, let me just check my clothing, see if anything desperately needs a repair here. Everything's a little bit wet. Alright, my boots could use some. You guys are at 91, they're both at 90. Okay, so pretty much, I'm going to repair the boots, and if this doesn't make the storm go away... Which it didn't. Okay. I think we're going to hack this chair up. Because we should get, yeah, we're going to get all kinds of good stuff out of this. And then we can see if there's anything behind it. Why is it still blizzarding out? I want it to stop blizzarding. Too much stuff to carry. Dave, you're fine. How about you hack up a shelf? That usually takes a lot of time. Oh, did the storm finally end? Ah, oh, thank God. All right, well, we have cleaned this out. Let's get back out and see... Oh god, day's almost over. Let's go back out and see if we can at least get a little bit organized. Maybe tomorrow we can go do some stuff. Alright, visibility could only be described as poor. Oh, there's the mountains. 
And that's how fast the weather can clear up in the long dark. And that's how fast it can turn ugly again. Ugh. Okay, I can't remember. Do we have simple tools in any of these? Alright, no. No. And no. Okay, never mind then. I guess we're not going to fix the hacksaw. I think what we're going to do is we're going to come out here and we're going to dump all of our firewood. Because it's just going to be easier to keep track of how much I got if I can see it all. Alright, drop all of that. Drop the bit of coal. I will hang on to the one friggin' uh, twig I've got. I'm just going to drop these stupid plugs out here because I don't need them. It's funny how quickly you acquire those when you don't even want to. Hello. Where the hell were you? I can hear you. You were like right outside the hut. Ooh. We could go get him. Actually, let's just have a drink. Okay, was it you? Or is there another one on this side? Alright, well, we're getting in a fight. A very short fight. Tell me you died right out front of my house. No, of course you bloody didn't. Okay, guys, I'm running low on bullets here. Like, really dramatically low on bullets. Which one use the injured one? I have no idea. Alright, well, I'm apparently suffering from pain or something, because the edges of my vision have gone all blurry. Uh, let me see if I can get myself sorted out. I'll be right back. Alright, pain's healed. Why am I still blurry? There we go. Okay, now we're focused. Now, tell me the little bugger didn't rip my hat up too much, or any of my stuff. Nope, didn't get my gloves, didn't get my boots. I think he nipped my hat slightly, because I repaired that not too long ago. Ah, for Christ's sakes. Stupid wolves. Where'd the other one go? He's pissed off to the freaking camp office. I'll probably never see him again. Well, it is half tempting to go out on and explore. I mean, we've got plenty... Ooh, hello. Nah, I don't need to kill you. Alright, you know what? Let's just take care of our needs. What time is it? It's almost dark anyway. I'm just gonna eat. And we'll have a quick drink. I'm just going to kill the rest of the day fishing, and we'll worry about maybe doing something interesting tomorrow. Okay, we're pretty much full. We pretty much drank everything we got. We are almost out of bloody water. Ugh, oh, come on. I don't want to spend a day making water. Tell me I got one done. I do. Okay. It's a little bit snowy. Might turn into a blizzard, but I don't think so. This doesn't feel like a terrible day to travel. I think we should go look and see if maybe we can find... One of the two prepper caches. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there. Thank God you were paying attention at least. You know what? Before we even interact with you at all, we're going to hope the prepper cache we can find is actually the one with bullets in it. Although I think they all will have at least some ammunition. I say all. There's only one. It's just in... There's like five different types of prepper cache you can find. And we're going to hope for the psychopathic weapons guy. Come on, then. Come on, do your zigzagging. That's what I thought. Okay, we are down to ten bullets now. Not counting the six we got in the gun. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, the high-pitched scream that I just edited out was the sound of me reacting to a cat jumping onto my desk from out of nowhere right after I thought I heard a wolf off to the side. It turned out that the noise I was hearing was actually her. This game can get pretty immersive, and sometimes reality can really mess with your head. And that'd be baby girl. Really? Okay, we're having a very wolfy episode today. A couple of dead ones now I can pick up on the way home. Alright, the first possible location is up on top of this hill across from the camp office. 
Now, I'm not very hopeful because I think I've only ever found it here, like, maybe twice in the entire time I've been playing this game. But it's the closest and the quickest to get to, so we'll check this out first. And then we'll check out location number two, which is over on top of the ridge that runs behind the camp office. Now, I don't remember which one of these is which. Um, like, the cache here will be one of the five types every time when it randomly spawns. The cache up there will be a different one of the five types whenever it randomly sp ow, spawns. Thank you, Dave. Now, I can't remember exactly where up here it is, but if we get more than halfway around this and haven't found it yet... I want to say it was up in this little niche right here. But we'll give it a little bit more of a... Yeah, no, it had to be right here. Okay, prepper cache not up on this hillside. Unless it's round the back and up top. I don't think it was. In my memory, it was here. I tell you what, we'll spend the time now. If we're going to do this, we might as well do it correctly. We'll see if we can get up the back side. <laughs> That's what she said. And then we'll see if it's over there. Okay, we've tramped all the way around. This one's definitely not the one that spawned. We've got two sprains now. I don't know how I managed. Well, yeah, I do know how I managed. But, oh, actually, you know what? Let's not make it worse by falling off a rock. Let's just go back down the way we're supposed to go. I'm half tempted to just ignore it. I might actually just ignore the sprains for now, because well, apart from my vision and making me walk funny, they're not really affecting me any, and I've only got two bandages on me. Although, I might get a little bit seasick doing this, so... Uh. Alright, Dave, hold on. I'll give you treatment in a minute. Let's just get on the other side of the tracks where it's got to be safer because we killed pretty much everything that moved over here. There you go, Dave. Stop your whining. Jesus. Oh, it's starting to snow quite hard now. How wet are we getting? Eh, not terribly. There's the ominous music again. Hopefully that's not a sign of a storm to come. I really don't want to get stuck up here in a storm. Okay, where's the turn? Yeah, we're out back at the camp office and we're looking for the turn that goes up to the Dave Cave because above the Dave Cave, in fact up on that ridge up there is where we're going, eventually. Yeah, there's another cave and some saplings and some goodies and hopefully a prepper cache. Oh. Apparently all the times I've been through here, I miss this guy. What have we here? One rifle round, not a help. Pistol round, on the other hand, that would have helped. I'm thinking it must have been really crappy weather the last couple times we went through here. Okay, this is our turn. Now, can I remember how to get up around the top here? I think I can. It has been ages since I went this way. Um, should be right there, I think, yes? It looks like it's too steep to climb. I mean, the tree's pointing at it, so that's probably correct. It does look too steep to climb, but that's... It's one of those ones that looks like you can't make it, but you actually can. You, I don't even think you have to be tricky about it. I think you just need to be in the right spot. Like so. All right, we're up. Now we just got to get across the rocks, and everything will be fine. Preferably without spraining anything, Dave, because I've had enough of that foolishness. Okay, gonna be a blizzard. Time to head home. Never mind, we'll do this another day. I am getting really sick of blizzards. It has done nothing but snow for the last three bloody days in this game. Honestly. Okay, well, if you want to know what it is that makes the um, 200 days outside thing the most interesting, it's that here we are in a blizzard, not quite lost. We're walking by shelter because we can't stop at it. Or we could stop in there, but we can't exactly rest and relax in there. So, we get to go back to the ice hut. If we can find them. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. <laughs> there's my ice hut. Okay, I might as well holster this, because I'm pretty sure there's nothing else out here right now except me. 
And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is grab all this stupid wood. And I might as well grab my fish and a few more pieces of wolf. And I'm thinking I'm going to spend the rest of the day cooking. So, yeah. Starting I'll to weigh me down. Oh, gee, get over it, Dave. So, yeah, I'm going to probably leave this episode here. Um, the weather just did not cooperate today. But next episode, we will get back to the hunt for the prepper caches. And yeah, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys are enjoying our time in the long dark. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one.